Hey guys, happy Saturday. I am preparing dinner. I am cooking manwiches tonight. Something quick, something easy. And I'm using my ground turkey. It's every meat that I use with spaghetti, tacos, manwiches. I use ground turkey. So right now I got the bell peppers, the onions cooking in. Now I'm about to add my seasoning. The seasonings that I'm using is accent, black pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. And of course, I put my beefy Lipton onion mix into the mixture. My 12 year old doesn't eat sandwiches, so I just took him a little piece out. So I'm just, you know, making him a burger. So I just firmly did this meat. I did into a ball to flatten out, but I'm gonna flatten it out better than that, but I'm doing him a burger. So to do his burger, I put a little bit of avocado oil in the pan and I just want it to get hot. I'm going to fry the burger. I'm not going to put it in the oven. Normally we would put it in the oven with some foil and I would put cut some onions and bell peppers on top and cover it up in the foil and it cook in the oven. But I'm just going to fry it for him tonight because he'd rather get it fried than um, put in the oven. And even though you're not using ground beef, you still the um the ground turkey still have the consistency like ground beef it stays together so you don't have to worry about it falling apart or anything like that and i didn't have to add no egg to it the way you would do ground beef when i usually cook my burgers with ground beef i would add egg to it to keep it you know mixed together holding together but i didn't have to do that with ground turkey because if you add an egg to ground turkey it's gonna make it all slimy so you don't have to add no egg to this. If you, you know, cook burgers and you put egg in it with ground turkey, you don't. Meanwhile, I'm going to come back over here to my meat over here for my sandwiches. And you can see the meat is almost done. It don't take ground turkey that long to cook. It does not take it that long to cook. Like I said, I got off from work. I said I want to cook something quick for dinner because I normally don't cook on the weekend. But I said, hey, let me make some sandwiches. Something quick, simple, easy. So that's, a, that's what I did. As you guys can see, I just flipped it. I just flipped the burger. So I'm going to let it cook. On me I got it on medium high. You don't have to rush it to cook because you want all the pinkness out of it. And guys, I wanted to add again, if you have not put beefy onion mix in your ground turkey, whenever you, if you use ground turkey, please get you some beefy onion recipe soup and dip mix. Or you can use the onion mushroom. Y'all, this makes the meat taste so different it doesn't have that ground turkey taste to it i'm telling you it's like a savory taste that's why i use this every time i cook ground turkey guys if you try this you'll thank me later the beefy onion lemon mix please get you some of this okay now guys i'm about to add the sloppy joe sauce How many of you, when it's a little drop in the can, you add a little bit of water to it? That's what we be doing. We add a little bit of water. Hold on, guys. Just a little old bit to get the rest of that sauce out of there. Not too much. Not too much. And then we're going to bring this thing. Let it get real hot. Let that sauce thicken all around that meat. And with ground turkey, you don't have to drain no grease or none of that like you have to do with ground beef. Ground turkey, it don't have no grease in it. It don't have no grease at all. So that's the best part about it. It's light. And it don't stay on your stomach as long as ground beef would do. Okay, guys, this is how the Sloppy Joe mix look, and it'll thicken all the way up. I'm going to let it sit for a few minutes, and I'll be back when I plate, the, um, plate it up. Okay, guys, dinner is ready. I have two sandwiches, a bag of cheddar and sour cream chips, and a Welch's grape juice. Y'all, comment down below if you call these sandwiches or do you call them Sloppy Joe's. 
Comment down below and let me know which one. But, and also, do you guys eat one sandwich at a time or do you eat two? Or do you eat two and then come back for a third one? Sometimes I eat two and come back for a third one. But since it's already almost 8 o'clock, I'm just going to eat these two since I don't eat after 8 o'clock. But it's the weekend. I won't be going to bed early. So I can eat two. All right, guys. I hope you all enjoyed this look vlog. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And leave a comment down below if you'd like to see more of these with me cooking and stuff. But, alright guys, well enjoy the rest of y'all's Saturday and have a great rest of your day.